All right, so you want to make sure you clean all the old grease off of the spindle as well. And once you have that done, you're ready to slide the rotor on. All right, so just get that guy slid on. Now let me pack the small bearing. All right, so now you're going to want to just set your small bearing in there. Get it pushed back. All right, so you want to slide your washer on, of course, next, and then you want to slide in your big castle nut. So what you want to do first is you want to tighten it until it's tight while spinning it every once in a while, because uh, you actually want to make sure your bearings are in the races and seat they're they're seated properly. And then you just want to snug it up. So now you want to line up your cotter pin and you want to make sure if your cotter pin's off, if your hole for your cotter pin's off a little bit, you want to go snugger. You don't want to go looser. To line it up. So you, the holes that he used earlier to get the cap off, he's going to use those again to slide the cotter pin through. All right, so we got the cotter pin in. You want to twist the ends like you would a normal cotter pin. You want to cut the ends off. You want to make sure that the ends don't stay in there. And then you also want to test fit your cap to make sure your cap doesn't touch your cotter pin. Otherwise, it'll act like a lathe and you'll have a bunch of shavings and a bunch of issues going on. Get your cap all cleaned out and then you want to throw some new grease in it just so there's a little bit extra in there if it needs it. And then, of course, you want to reinstall your cap. All right, so we want to finish up by doing the brake job. And you want to make sure that you clean off all the rust where the caliper rides on. And then, of course, you want to clean up the caliper as well where the brake pads are going to sit. And then you want to make sure your slides slide well and, of course, uh, they can always use some grease if there's any rust on them. You want to make sure that you remove that with a wire wheel or some sandpaper because if those don't slide, then your brakes don't work properly and you'll end up having a brake caliper hang up on you. So you want to use some sill glide to grease them up or any kind of brake lubricant, whatever you're a fan of. You want to apply the brake lube. Uh, this is actually brake grease to any spot that metal is going to touch so the every part that he's already cleaned off where the caliper is going to ride on the spindle and also the brake pads where they're going to ride on the caliper and of course reinstall your brake pads making sure to do that properly just put them on exactly how they came out I do see on the internet people mess this up I'm not really sure how they do that but Make sure that it's clipped in where it's supposed to be clipped in and it's exactly like how you took it apart. Sure. And the last step of this process is going to be putting your caliper bolts back in because, of course, you don't want your caliper to be flopping around in there. So make sure you secure that properly. All right, and of course you want to stick the wheel back on. I'm sure if you've made it this far, you're aware of that. So I hope this helped you guys. If you have any comments or questions, leave them down below. And if you liked it, hit that like button. Subscribe if you want more action. And we'll see you on the next video, guys. Thanks for watching.